So it's Friday, and you got your favorite Mi 11, Mi 11 Pro, Mi 11 Ultra at hand. You go and want to check my device update. Because we know Friday usually getting updates from Xiaomi EU, the so-called weekly ROM. If I click here, check for updates, boom, new version found, the version 12.6.2.1.6.9, okay? And you can just see all the new things. Fingerprint unlock without turning animation display, left screen, owner info, etc. Some settings, fixes, some security redesigning of the reverse wireless charging screen. You can now set charging limit, etc. Some fixes for the contacts, some fixes for the battery, and etc. Usually in the old good days, what would a user do? Click here this very, very tiny but actually big green button, download the ROM your phone is gonna boot into a recovery, the custom recovery, TWRP, and then you're gonna flash the ROM. But there is one problem, guys. The recovery that we are actually using, which is indeed for Mi 11, is the TWRP 351, is not decrypting the phone's data, which pretty much means that you're not able to access the data. And I'm just gonna show this. Okay, so let's pretend I've downloaded the ROM. Okay, I'm going to power off my phone, all right. Then I'm going to enter into TWRP. So I am holding here the power off button and I'm holding also volume up, all right. Okay, see, my phone is unlocked, okay. I hear that my phone busts, boom. I'm here, all right, not a problem at all. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna choose English, I'm gonna choose yes, and now I need to enter the password for my phone. And you know what, it doesn't work. No matter what I do here, you know, anyway, it doesn't work. I am getting this message. Password failed, please try again. So there is no way for me to enter my real password. Actually, let me enter my password, I'm gonna show you. That is now my real password. Click here, attempting to decrypt, no, it doesn't work. You did cancel, all right? And after you hit cancel, actually you are able to access your TWRP. But of course, if you go to install, you cannot see your data. So you can't do anything, right? And a lot of people at this point of time will give up, right? But you're here on the VST channel. So you might use this tiny opportunity to subscribe and also ring this ring bell, whatever thing. Every time I do upload a new video, you might get notified because I have a solution for you guys. And I'm gonna show to you how you can bypass this and still install it just by using your PC and one USB cable. No USB-C OTG because I tried this and it doesn't really work for me because the other option that you can see on the forum is take a USB OTG flash, put the ROM there, put it here on the phone and etc. This didn't really work for me. So what do we need to do? First, we need to download the ROM on the PC, okay? Let me just zoom here. So I'm gonna go here and download the weekly ROM, all right? Searching for Mi 11, okay. Mi 11i, not to be confused with the real thing. Mi 11 Lite, Pro, Ultra, okay, here it is, Mi 11. Let me click the download button. Click start download, primary download. All right, saving here my Mi 11 Xiaomi latest weekly ROM. You're gonna see it's gonna be here only in six hours, so. I will be going to release this video in the afternoon. All right, stay tuned guys. When that's downloaded, I'm gonna show you one simple step how you can get this. Don't skip the video. It's gonna be very quick and I really hope that this solution is gonna work for you. So let me just clap three times and the room is gonna get downloaded. A few moments later. Et voila, here it is. Xiaomi U Multi Mi 11 21.6.9 version 12-11 zip. Now the question is how we flash this to this, let me show you. All right, we are here now in the TWRP, which we know will not decrypt. So what we're gonna need to do, guys, choose English here, press cancel, don't care, all right? Make sure to use your USB cable then, do the following, take the USB cable, put it in the laptop, all right? Surprise, take the other end, put it into your phone, okay, like this. Now pay attention, guys. Now we need to go to mount, Okay, mount USB storage, all right. And you can hear phone producing some weird sounds. And that is because your phone free storage should appear here. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna copy the new ROM here to the folder, right? 
and then I'm going to show you guys where you're able to find it on the phone because that is indeed the trickiest part of the whole job. All right. Now, what is funny is that although TWRP is not able to decrypt your data, right? You can still format it, but this doesn't really work for you. But because it cannot decrypt your data, it means that you cannot download the ROM directly to your phone and just go into TWRP and install it. And that's the problem, right? Because decryption doesn't really work. So the customer recovery is not able to decipher your data here. But what somehow miraculously works is when you connect the phone like this and you mount it, that the free space or the free storage from the phone shows on the PC and yeah, you can indeed access this. And I'm not sure why, I'm not sure how probably the remaining free storage is somehow not encrypted, which kind of makes sense or doesn't make sense. Anyway, I don't really care. What I do care is that right now, after four minutes, this ROM is going to be on this phone and I'm going to show you how to flush it. All right, and indeed, let me speed up the process by clapping three times, right? A few moments later. All right, now the ROM is copied on our phone, right? Now what do next? Let me show you. Disconnect the cable, the phone from the PC. You don't need this. I'll throw away the cable. Now we don't need the laptop as well, so let's remove this. And here it is, guys. This is your phone, okay? Swipe to unlock. You can now unmount it, no problem. Just go back. Now we need to go into the install menu, right? And you can see SD card, nothing there. Okay, press up a level. Search for data. Scroll down a bit. I told you, this was and is still the trickiest part. Data, scroll down to media, click media, boom! What? I know you. I know that you right now are happy and if this is needed through and if you're really happy because of this just please like the video and subscribe to my channel really thank you from the bottom of my heart select the ROM guys okay you then take your finger boom flash the ROM so although the TWRP was not able to decrypt the storage we still found a way to map the free storage somehow to our PC so that we can just use our PC and I know it's annoying, right? But it at least works. So until there is a new version from TWRP which kind of supports the encryption of our storage, we have to use this method. So some guys with Mi 11 Ultra and Mi 11 Pro are a bit luckier than us and they somehow can decrypt their storage. But for most of the guys out there with phones from the Mi 11 series, yeah, we have this situation and this indeed here is a fix and I'm going to show you. I'm going to remain here until this boot so that you can see with your own eyes, right? With your own eyes <laughs> that this method actually works, right? A few moments later. Final cut. As I promised, we are at the end of the process where we are looking for this. Script succeeded, result was zero, right? Which is good. Updating partition details, don't yet click reboot. Go to wipe Dalvik, wipe the Dalvik, right, just in case, press reboot, and now I'm going to go inside my phone and show you I have indeed the latest Xiaomi EU MIUI 12.6 weekly ROM. Some notes, after this update, your phone might boot a bit slower, right? So don't rush too much. Allow the phone some time and space. I'm gonna clap three more times to speed it up and show you the ready product. A few moments later. Here our phone, same old phone, but pay attention. If I go here into the settings, right, I can see that I'm using the latest 12.6 Xiaomi EU Weekly ROM from 21.6.9. And if I check for updates, yeah your ROM should be up to date. So guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Stay safe, you and your families, until we meet next time, bye.